So obviously, we don't actually review many Australian films, because if they're not that great, we feel kind of dog. What? Oh my god, no. Bailey, that was the worst pun you've ever done. Oh fuck's sake, that was terrible. No one's even gonna get it. Oh shit, I need to get out of here. Where am I gonna go? I've got nowhere. Oh god, no. Someone help me. Oof. <laughs> you are everything that's gone wrong in this world. You are so consumed, no talent, mediocre piece of shit. Because if they're not that great, we feel kind of dog mm. for saying they're bad because obviously we kind of want to support our local industry. But when we get a film like Hounds of Love that's really, really good, we have to talk about it. Oh boy. Good boy? Sit. Stay. Roll. Roll over. So Hounds of Love is written and directed by Ben Young, who's a filmmaker who went to the same university we did, and we've been at a few events he has been at. And yeah, he's he an hosted, absolute... He hosted a screening that we showed one of our films at once, so that was kind of cool. He's an absolute lad of a guy, yeah. and you know, he has done a fantastic job with this film. And now essentially we follow two kind of serial killers in the late 80s in Perth, Western Australia, it's where we are. Hometown. And it's based loosely on true events. It's not actually a true story, but it's based quite loosely upon them. These two killers kind of ab like abduct? Abduct. Abduct? Abduct. Kidnap teenage girls and kind of have their way with them. And obviously, so from the get-go, you get that this story is really full on. And I think what kind of impressed me so much is that Australian films really, we don't see stuff that's this like uncompromising very often. This is a very harrowing, hardcore movie. A lot of the other stuff you get in Australia is super lighthearted, whimsical stuff that kind of makes Australians seem, I don't know, somehow less trashy than this movie does. Cause, cause this, this has got some really, really messed up characters in it. These two main characters are completely nuts. Um, but I think what this movie does is it's, it's kind of, it's so like targeted, you know what I mean? Like the direction and the writing is so precise. It goes out and says exactly what it needs to do. It gives all the characters enough kind of background that you can kind of, cause just, you're not just with this, this kidnapped girl the whole time. Cause there's one that we follow in this story. We're not just with her the whole time. We spend a lot of time with them and there's such like, Ben does such a good job of kind of supporting them and making us kind of really intrigued by them at least. Now performance wise, the trio here are absolutely incredible. Emma Booth, Stephen Curry and Ashley Cummings deliver such incredible and powerful performances. Obviously Ben Young has worked quite closely with them, but at the same time it looks as though he's given them a lot of a room for them to create their own characters on screen and really kind of work as actors to give them a whole history and a background so they really come to life on screen. Emma Booth for me was my favourite out of yeah, the three of them. She was outstanding. Phenomenal. Like there was so much going on behind the scenes. And she and, had to say so little to put it across. Yeah, and just the interest, intricacy of her performance was incredible to watch and so engaging. Stephen Curry was creepy. He was freaky. He doesn't man. do characters like this very often. Like Not at all. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a lot he, more comedic. Exactly. Like, Exactly, so it was so good to see him really put forward such a great and performance. it really worked. And Ashley Cummings is an up-and-coming young actress and she's fantastic. She's got a hell of a career ahead of her. If she can deliver a performance this well and this complex, this early in her life. She's really good at screaming as well, by the way. I've got to jump into, that's probably the next thing that kind of wow. impressed me most. Is like, on an actual like design level, this film is really, really good. Like, uh, the sound design here, including the soundtrack, is just excellent. There's this, we often have like, the, the film kind of slows down and has these kind of slow-mo sequences where the sound becomes a really big thing, where these little kind of elements in the environment get focused on, like the sound of chains or the dogs barking or something like that. And it just creates a really atmospheric experience. And to go into the actual way the camera works as well, what we're saying with the performers getting so much room to work is that so much of this is shot in wides. There's fierce close-ups that are really excellent, but it's the wide shots that really work. And we've got this distance and we're watching characters through, like we're in another room and we can see them down the hall doing something. And that's just like, really, really restrained filmmaking that I really dig. And you can see that Ben Young has grown up in Perth as well. I mean, like, Perth has got this really kind of 80s home feel to it. Like, yeah. even now in 2017, a lot of the homes haven't really changed for over 30 years, and he's managed to really lock into that. He's found locations that work and settings that really work. He's cast incredibly well as well, so everything fits to that aesthetic and just adds to the overall consistent tone. And for me, I've got to liken this film to Snowtown. I know a lot of people have. Justin Kurtzell delivered Snowtown, which is about an Adelaide serial killer a few years back that film haunted me and this film's done the exact same thing and it's just so good to see such a great Australian film as much as it is about in very harsh topic 
It's so good to see. And the thing is, while it's like, while it is this super hardcore film, it was still really enjoyable for us as people who love cinema, just seeing this good cinema being put forth and good cinema in Australia where it's not whimsical and it's not, it's just real, it's focused, and it, it just has, it just targets exactly what it needs to. And by the end of it, you're like, I am satisfied by what I've seen and I'm satisfied by seeing a good movie. And I think that's why for us, we're going to give this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Like, it's really good. Absolute banger. If you get the chance, check this film out. So that was our review of Hounds of Love. Have you seen it yet? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like this video? Of course you did. Crave more banter. If so, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel down there somewhere. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter, all at Breaking Battle.